Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something that I was never sure I would actually be doing, and that's unboxing Courtney Moore. Now in the past, I've had some very strong opinions about Courtney, and we will talk about that in a minute. But first, if you guys haven't already, and if you want to, please go down to my pinned comment and leave a couple questions for my Q&A. I've already got so many amazing responses, but just a few more would be awesome. So thank you in advance to anyone who chooses to do that. If you guys haven't already seen my vlog of the American Girl Play Chicago, you'd be able to see me pick out my Courtney doll and also just a quick little tour of the store. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the infamous, very controversial Courtney Moore. All right, guys, so here she is, Courtney. This is the one I picked out of like the 50 that I looked at in the store, which was excessive, I'll admit, but I think she's probably the cutest one in the store. I don't know. Anyway, um, so as far as Courtney, I kind of want to give some backstory to those of you who might not know. When I first started my channel, Courtney was coming out a couple months later, and there were some leaked photos of her that came out around that time, and I made a video reacting to it and kind of making like a video talking about how I didn't like her. And that was actually the first video I ever made that did really well view-wise and that got me a lot of subscribers. So in some ways, I feel really weird about making this video because it is, you know, buying her and I always kind of said I would but I do think it's interesting to come back a couple years later and kind of give a new opinion, you know? Opinions change all the time and I think my channel is definitely one to show that and so it's fun to kind of go through that and talk about it. And we all know that she frequently gets compared to Mary Ellen as was the original controversy around her release. She also looks a lot like Truly Me number 33, but because I don't have number 33, I can't compare them, but I will be comparing her to Mary Ellen at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, I would say after the initial controversy around Courtney, there was definitely kind of a shift in mindset. I think part of that was because of her collection. I really love her collection, and I feel like in the ways that her lack of you know, originality was in her design. I feel that her collection really kind of made up for that. And now there's kind of an interest in Courtney, I feel, even just because of the time and the collection. And so I think that's really cool. And of course, I no longer think she looks identical to Mary Ellen, though I knew that from the moment I saw the stock photos, but they do have some very striking similarities. So I do want to go through that, but let's actually focus on unboxing her. So I have these little kid scissors. I use them all the time. I swear the next doll I open, I will not be using the kid's safety scissors, but it just, it's the one that's in my office. So, you know, you got to use what you got because I'm, I don't think about it. And then I'm in here and I get all excited about opening the doll and I don't want to spend time going up and down the stairs, but I'm talking way too much about something that has no relevancy at all to this doll. But I do that in pretty much every video, so I'm assuming you guys are used to it now. Um, but yeah, I'm getting her out. There's not really too much to say about that anyway. I'm really excited to see this doll's hair, and I primarily say that because I feel like tons of Courtney's I've seen have had terrible curls where one side of their hair is super frizzy and the other side is like nice curls, and I don't know what it is about Courtney dolls specifically, but they do tend to have that problem. Another thing I want to talk about is I'm not a huge fan of her boots. I don't really know what the look is supposed to be. I'm sure it's accurate to the 80s, but I'm not a big fan of them. Maybe with the right outfit, they'll be cute, but I just don't think this is the right outfit. But I love her jean skirt. I think it's adorable. I love her scrunchie. Like, I think she has a lot going for her, and so I do think it's cute. I think it's a good doll. Um, definitely after kind of the initial just irritation of her being a doll that wasn't very creative. I do feel in the long run that she is a very cute doll and she's a great doll for some people and I do think she'll add to my collection so I am excited to own her. I just think at the time she was released she was not the doll that we were all hoping for. But it is time to take off her hairnet and this is the best part as you all know. So here we go. I want to know if she has good curls, if she has bad curls. I'm concerned about this, but I ultimately knew that her face was going to bother me the most and then I could probably fix her hair, so that was my plan, plus you couldn't see the curls anyway. I don't even think that anyone could tell. If you can, that's impressive. Like, if one of you guys can tell if a doll has good curls when it's still in the hairnet, let me know your secret because that's insane. But anyway, okay, hairnet's off, it's the moment of truth, let's see what she's got. So, this side's good. Oh my god, it's so pretty. 
it's so soft. I love the color of her hair. I wasn't expecting it to be quite the color it is. I'm not really sure how to describe it. This side isn't as pretty, but I have certainly seen much worse with Courtney's, so I'm not complaining. I'm sure I can fix it. No big deal. I am super curious why that happens with Courtney's though, because I've never seen that with any other doll with this kind of hair where like consistently I see everyone has a problem where their hair isn't quite as nice. And I'm not sure what it is about Courtney that has that happen. You guys let me know if you know, is it because her hair is softer than most other dolls with this kind of curl or what it is? Cause I just, I think it's interesting. While I'm doing this, I have to have a little rant. You guys know I do. So I don't know how many other people notice this. I am assuming it's a lot because I get comments all the time about how the stock photos are awful, but this is kind of a spinoff on that. So when I'm looking through dolls at the store, I'm realizing a ton of them are not up to par with where they should be, but the display dolls and the display cases are always like top tier, super cute, and they never have dolls that look quite like that when you look below and like get a new unbox one, which drives me crazy because because that was what I was trying to do with a Truly Me number 67. That's the doll that I originally wanted to get instead of Courtney. And when I went to the store, I couldn't find a good one. They all had kind of like weird shaped eyes or their face mold was a little weird, but the doll in the display case was the cutest 67 I've ever seen. But anyway, here's Courtney from the front. Now I hate to admit it because there's a part of me that kind of wants to stay true to what I said two years ago and just stay consistent and say I don't like her, but I like her. I do like her. I think she's really cute. She gives me strong Nikki vibes for some reason, even though she doesn't really look like Nikki. I'm not going to compare them because they don't look similar enough to justify that, but she just has that like feel to me in real life. She definitely looks like truly me number 33, but I don't have her, so I can't compare her today. However, I feel like if Courtney didn't have bangs and if her hair was just slightly more red, it would basically be the same doll. I mean, we'd be looking at like a Gwen and truly me number 12 kind of situation. And of course, there's the entire Mary Ellen comparison big thing. So we will get to that later in the video. I would say the number one thing that sticks out to me about Courtney is the color of her hair. It's a lot more golden than I was expecting and I love that because I feel like it's not that common. Now let's look at her up close. So with Courtney, uh, she has light blue eyes. She has kind of an orangey tint to her lips, which I think is really pretty. It's not as extreme as it looks on camera, I promise, but it is really pretty and it complements her skin tone really well. I would say her eyebrows are the perfect color with her hair, which AG doesn't always do, but they are pretty good about it generally. I love her hair color. I think it's a really beautiful tone. It has a really nice kind of like strawberry blonde tone to it where I wouldn't call it red, but I also can't just call it blonde. I just keep thinking of Goldilocks every time I look at her because that's just what she reminds me of. This is the back of Courtney's head. We're not going to spend a lot of time looking at this, but it's very 80s, very voluminous, and I like it a lot. So now it's time for what I've been waiting for for a while, and this is Courtney and Mary Ellen together. Now what I will say is in the past I have compared dolls who have looked a lot more similar than these two, but most of the time I don't actually think about it until I have them next to each other, so it's just so strange to me to have these two next to each other and to realize they don't really look all that similar, but to have thought that for so long. And I will admit that that primarily was the case because of her leaked photos where we couldn't see her in very much detail and I think a lot of it was the bangs and the hair color and the face mold and ultimately all those things are very very similar however because of the different eye color and because of the different hair texture I don't think that they look too similar to have both and so I don't mind having both but it is interesting to compare them and see that so if I were not a collector that had tons of dolls I likely wouldn't have both but I definitely don't think that anyone would get them confused with each other they're not that similar they do have a different hair color I prefer Courtney's honestly which is weird because I really love Mary Ellen's hair color um, and the lips are different too Courtney definitely has a little bit more orangey kind of vibrant lips and obviously curly hair blue eyes Mary Ellen has kind of like a hazily green green eye. At the end of the day, I don't think they look like twins, but I do think it's weird that AG decided to release them in the same historical line only a few years apart. I do think that's weird because they had so many design options, but they are really cute. All right, guys. Well, I've got two more unboxing videos coming in the next week or so, so stay tuned for those. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to join the family, and I will see you guys all shortly. Bye, guys.